You know, it's amazing that however long you've been on this spiritual path, a spiritual journey, a big spontaneous awakening like I've had, connection with all these beings, or maybe you took the gradual path up to this point, but it's so easy to just forget at times that you are this divine light, that you are connected, that in fact you are multidimensional. And even for me, there are times when I slip back into that 3D facade, that 3D energy, that 3D identity, and I get lost in this very dense time, space, physical reality that probably happens for you. I'm going to show you some very easy ways to be able to break out of that cycle and easily reconnect with the truth of who you are with your divine light. So this journey for me has been absolutely incredible. Started with um, connecting with my guide in a guided meditation, having a spontaneous awakening, connecting with the Galactic Federation, being able to connect with my deceased relatives, both my mom and my dad and others after they passed. But there are still times when the old me rises up and it's really, really strong. It's got this electromagnetic or this gravitational pull and it sucks me back in. And I feel myself entertaining thoughts that I had years and years ago about not sure where I'm going, not sure what life should look like, not even sure what I want or what even resonates with me, what even lights me up and excites me anymore. Right? These are old thoughts, these are old ways of being, old nervous system conditioning that rise up so that we can experience them. It's like aspects of you that are looking to be seen and looking to be loved. But because they're so familiar, because they're so comfortable, because you've lived in that energy for so, so long, it's so easy to get lost in that. You actually can become it, even if you've been walking this path for years and years and years. Now I'm going to show you very easy how to get out of that when that happens. And it's all about reconditioning your body and your subconscious mind, forming new habits. Okay, so I went through this huge awakening, had all of these multidimensional beings come in and connect with me. And that was so incredible. Then kind of moved into a dark night of the soul, which I felt disconnected from that, but worked through a lot of healing. But since that point in time, I've been kind of going up and sometimes coming a little bit back down, which is all normal. That's part of the process. Now, if you forget the truth of who you are in those lower points, you can hang out there for a lot longer. And the more you hang out in those lower vibrational patterns, the more energy you feed them and the more real they feel the more real they become and you can get lost in them again. It's almost like going through another dark night of the soul. But that again is a normal part of this journey. If you're experiencing that, do not judge yourself, have compassion for yourself. These old energies, these old aspects are just wanting to be seen and to be loved. So the trick is, the secret is to not become them, but to recognize them and feel them and keep that space in that state of presence and know that these are old energies, old aspects that are coming up to be loved. So we move it into the heart space. Very simple. Take a breath into the heart space. When you feel this heaviness come up, when you feel these old thoughts return, wanting to bring you back down and shrink you into the person or the aspect that you were for many, many years, sometimes decades, right? It's important to recognize that and bring it back into the heart in a simple breath into the heart, hand on your heart, hand on your diaphragm, and take a deep breath in, close your eyes, and you can experience the flow of energy that will instantly separate you or detach you from these thoughts that are rising up. So if you notice in that moment when you take that breath, reality seems to slow down. What's happening is you are getting out of that frenetic energy of the mind, which is a problem solver. And when it feels something that needs to be solved, it kind of siphons off all your energy. You're turning that around and you're bringing that energy back into your body. Simple breath, hand on your heart, hand on your solar plexus. And breathe. Think of that as an instant circuit 
breaker. You need to know in that moment that you are okay. You need to feel that, that everything is fine. You reconnect with the divine being, multidimensional being, energetic, limitless, loving being that you are and know that these are old aspects that are coming up and know that that is okay. This is a part of the process. It is not smooth sailing. We came here to reconnect with the truth of who we are and to become as present as possible and allow you to live as authentically as you possibly can. In order to do that, you need to bring back the energy of these old aspects that were keeping you off the rails for years and sometimes decades. How do you do that? Well, you need to allow them to come up to be seen, to be felt, and ultimately be loved. So all of the healing work that you've been doing for all of these years created the space to allow these aspects to come up so that you could actually experience them without becoming them. And I know what you're probably thinking, sometimes I get lost in them. Sometimes it feels really, really strong. That's that gravity. That's that electromagnetic pull. It's like an old friend, an old, nice, warm blanket that you've had for years and years and years. Putting that back on, there's an element of comfort to it. Although it doesn't feel good, your body and your nervous system reacts to it in a way that is comfortable because it knows how to react in that energy. So it wants to pull you back in. Now, the more you feed it, the more you start to resist it, the more you start to wrestle with it and try to change it, the stronger it gets. So again, how do we break that cycle? How do we short circuit that or trip that circuit breaker? We put our hand on our heart, put our hand on our solar plexus, and we take a deep breath in. That breath will instantly stop that loop. Okay, maybe you need two breaths, maybe three breaths, take five breaths. Just sit for a few moments, place your hand on your heart, your hand on your solar plexus, and breathe. Breathe in and feel and reconnect with your body that will take the energy that is going out and reverse it and bring it back in. That will create a state of presence that will then allow you to feel this dense energy that is rising up from within without becoming it, without getting lost in it. Remember, that is part of the process. These aspects are going to come up. So don't judge yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Feel compassionate. Be compassionate. Love yourself. Know that you are healing and allowing this density to come forward. When you breathe, you are instantly creating a healed state, instantly manifesting a healed state energetically that is healing these old aspects by bringing them back into the body. You're allowing them to be seen, okay? We can heal like that, all right? But we need to be able to be present and to reconnect with the body to get that energy moving. And you're gonna notice when you're in your body, when you're feeling, when you're experiencing your breath, when you're actually consciously moving your breath up and down your central channel, you are going to feel more connected. You're going to feel more whole. That is because the energy, those mental thoughts from the old aspects of you are now flowing back in. We call that integration or soul integration. You do it with these aspects of you or these traumas that happened in this lifetime, and you do it with traumas that are happening in parallel realities and past lives. All that ancestral stuff, all of that is coming back in to be seen and to be felt, meaning you need to experience it, meaning that that is part of the process. So don't run from it. Embrace it. Know it's going to happen. Know that you have the power in any given moment to reconnect with the limitless you, with that new you. Reconnect with your life's purpose, right? Being here, what lights you up? Reconnect with a healthy aspect of you. Reconnect with an anchored 
stable light within that you could go out lovingly and express that to others authentically. That is what we're here. That's what I'm here for. That's what you're here for, to reconnect with that and offer that up to the collective. Offer that up to those who are ready to see the truth in you that is a reflection of the truth within them that they have simply forgotten about. Why? Because they have turned away from it and gotten too tied up, too embroiled in this dense physical reality. If you're looking for assistance in this manner, I'd be happy to get on a 15-minute discovery call with you to talk to you about how I can help you navigate this journey and reconnect you with your purpose and drop or heal away all of those dense aspects that keep rearing their head every day. There's a link in the description for that. If this video resonated with you, watch this one next. Thank you.